And we are at part two of our workout segment today, well, our fitness segment, because we're not working out, but we want you to exercise your hand and muscles to pick up a bottle of water and stay hydrated. It's really deeper than hydration because dehydration doesn't just mean your body is losing water. It also means you're losing electrolytes as well. As James mentioned, sodium, magnesium, and potassium, but it also um, affects your, your mental health. And with it being Men's Health Month, mm -hmm. we wanted to speak specifically to the men. We know that women are working out too, Absolutely. but we got to show you guys some love because we know that you guys are always outside, Absolutely. just like James, working out. Um, before we went to break, James, we were talking about some of the alternatives. If you don't always, you should always drink water, but mm -hmm. what is good when it comes to grabbing something outside of bottle of water as far as hydrating your body, Gatorade has a lot of sugar. A lot of sugar. Try BioLite, yep. but also continue to drink your water. Continue to drink your water. Yeah, let's yep. talk about the symptoms of dehydration. And we are going to pull that up on the screen so you guys can um, follow along with us. What are some of those symptoms? Well, the symptoms are really wide, mm -hmm. but specifically, some of these symptoms are uh, symptoms that individuals have not even heard of before. Yeah. So, bad breath. Mm. You've, you know, you smell bad breath yeah. and you don't know, you, you never think that it has to do with dehydration or um, not having enough water in your body. Mm. So when you smell someone who has bad breath, you just ask them, are you thirsty? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> instead, of, instead of offering a piece of gum. Instead of saying your breath is <laughs> Yes, right. Muscle cramps are another mm. symptom of dehydration, uh, as well as decreased serotonin, which leads us to talk about mm -hmm. uh, depression and how uh, low electrolytes and being dehydrated can and help can actually create um, and mimic symptoms such as depression. Wow, so I thought that was very interesting when we were talking and prepping for this segment. I had no idea that uh, depression and dehydration can be linked. So explain that a little bit more as far as how you're feeling. Yeah, so your serotonin levels, like most things in your body, operate off of water. Mm -hmm. Well, lack of water is going to slow serotonin production. Wow. Uh, it's going to increase your oxytocin production, and that's going to lead you into feelings of, you know, depression or isolation, uh, just feelings of lethar feeling lethargic. So those, that's why it's so important to remain hydrated. Studies have shown that individuals who maintain at least five glasses of water a day uh, experience less depression um, than individuals who are most likely dehydrated. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I think about working out and depression, I do hear a lot of men say like the gym is their therapy. Yeah. That's where they go to let loose, but you gotta make sure that you're properly hydrating your body while you are doing that. James, what are some of the mistakes that you see in the gym? When you see people have their, their bottles with them or they're picking up something to, to sip in between workouts, what are some of the biggest mistakes that you see? Well, one of the biggest mistakes I see is individuals drinking caffeine while they're working out. That is a no, no, Oh, no. really? It's a Destiny Child, no, no, no. Okay. Yes. No, 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 no. 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 Okay, don't yeah. do it. Don't do it. So not a Celsius? You don't need to have a Celsius on hand? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, you're dehydrated. Your, your mouth is dry because you're dehydrated. You then go to the gym, mm -hmm. drink a Celsius, which dehydrates you more. Oh. And now you're in the negative with your with hydration. And then you want to burn fuel in the gym, which you can't and you can't really get a sustainable workout because you're dehydrated because your muscles are cramping and they don't have enough sodium. Really? Lack of sodium, okay. lack of magnesium. So what should you be replacing with those Red Bulls and Celsius and other energy drinks? So first thing in the morning, we want to drink a full glass of water. Mm -hmm. All right. Get your body moving. Walk a little bit. That is one way to really warm your body up. Most people think they need caffeine. They really don't need it. Caffeine is a habit. It's not an addiction. Oh. So we have a habit of going to Starbucks. We have a habit of drinking a Celsius. Mm -hmm. It's really a habit. So once we break that habit or even half in it, you're in a better place. Yeah. Making sure that you also follow that with what? H2O. Even if you're going to drink a Celsius, go ahead and follow it with just as much water. And remember, you cannot hydrate yourself while you're working out. You've got to start that process way before. Way before. So key takeaways, drink water. Mm -hmm. If you want to have something similar to a Gatorade without all the sugar, maybe you should try a drink like a liquid IV. Liquid IV, this is BioLite. BioLite, this mm -hmm. is just something as an example. And then if you know that you are going to work out that day, make sure you start drinking water at the beginning. At the very beginning, way before, on okay. the way to, before you leave the house. Okay, about how many glasses of water should you drink a day? So we'll take your weight divided by two, and that'll give you the, the amount of water that you should be drinking every day. Oh. Now that water, that amount may vary depending on your uh, activity level or lack mm -hmm. thereof, but, uh, 
generally you want to take that number divided by two and that's going to give you the amount of water you need in ounces in ounces mm -hmm. okay that's a really good tip and key well james thank you so much yeah. really really good we want to pull up um, the information once more in case you missed it on the graphics that show you signs of dehydration um, including the bad breath uh, but first you want to talk about what it means to lose water losing electrolytes mm -hmm. sodium uh, magnesium and potassium and that happens throughout the day it's very normal for us to uh, lose um, lose electrolytes throughout the day you need mm -hmm. at least 1400 milligrams of, of electro electrolytes daily the average adult so uh, what is needed to breathe it's needed to breathe it's needed to move it's needed to talk so we need electrolytes to do all of those functional mm -hmm. things throughout the day and generally you want to stay uh, stay moving throughout the day and that's going to keep um, keep uh, blood flow and production going on but we need those electrolytes and we need to stay hydrated first thing in the morning it starts when you first wake up all righty and let's pull up the other uh, graphic symptoms of dehydration bad breath so if your mouth is a little dry mm -hmm. if your tongue feels a little dry a little heavy you know it may be a sign that you need some water okay okay, okay. maybe a mint and maybe some water <laughs> um, you are also going to experience muscle cramps muscle um, uh, muscle fatigue that is definitely a sign of lack of potassium lack of magnesium and you're going to have an actually uh, an increase excuse me a decrease in serotonin so uh, those are some of the symptoms of dehydration we have a lot more of course headaches are another one yeah. if you're, also if your feet hurt off all the time that's another symptom of dehydration really? yes ma'am oh wow mm -hmm. okay well james thank you so much very insightful conversation as always learned a lot um bottom line drink y'all water drink it is water. hot and if you aching and bad breath and all those things grab a bottle of water and a piece of gum all right <laughs> thank you so much for coming on we'll see you back here next week much more soda city live after this break that was really good i like it